I'm not sure exactly how today's video is going to come out. I've been wearing the same clothes for two days, so um, I hate myself. <laughs> In an effort to not feel completely useless today, I have given myself one task, which is looming behind me here. I am going to organize all of this mess because this is a huge freaking source of anxiety for me. Anyone that, well, I think it's just a thing, isn't it? When you get to like mid twenties, I just cannot focus. I cannot focus when I know that that chaos is in there. This monstrosity of stuff going on in here, stuff pouring out of drawers. And if I get that task done today, you know, it's the small wins. Some clothes on and I have just the ticket to make me feel super cute today. I'm partnering with a brand that I've never tried before. It's called New York and Company. And I picked out two very cute pieces. I wasn't sure whether they'd have something to fit my style, but they had so much on the site. I had plenty to choose from, including this gorgeous little intricate blouse, which I'm very excited to try on and a good old high-waisted pair of linen shorts, which I feel like I can't go wrong with. So I'm gonna whack these on together and see how they look. Living for this little combo, so cute. It's making me want to go for a little bit of an al fresco dinner tonight in like Williamsburg or something. Look at these details on the sleeves. Such a nice blouse. The shorts are super comfortable. I know a lot of the time the brands that I wear and recommend myself don't always have the broadest size range. This blouse goes up to a US size 20. Of course, if you're interested in snagging the look, I will have the links in the description below. This to me now is just pure chaos. Not being able to see anything. Usually I try and keep things color coordinated from like light to dark to colors. Um, same with my denim. I think for me, the first port of call, the thing that's like screaming at me to be done is just this middle rack. It's overflowing. It's feeling like it's, it's making everything else look really full. Most of this shelf is like my tops, turtlenecks and knitwear. Then I've got like loungewear like hidden in the back stuff I just chill in the house with. So I think I'm just gonna rip all of that out and kind of just see what knitwear is going to survive the call and make it to next autumn winter. I'm also gonna make just piles on the bed of stuff that's going to like charity, Depop and like stuff I'm keeping. traveling just easy to read. All of this rail space now means I have more room for a couple of new pieces I got that I figured I might as well show you. It's Dodd Stout, I'm not quite sure but I went to the press day, I took you guys along in the vlogs and this print just caught my eye. They do this like amazing map print and as you guys can see I'm a bit of a monochrome girl but every now and again a piece kind of catches my eye that makes me just smile and I think it's always fun once you have your basics down to kind of have a bit more fun with fashion so that was this for me yes this is my little vacay dress for the end of the month I would say like size up though or size to fit your widest part because I got the UK 10 and it fits more like a UK 8 to me, so just about fits. New jeans because God knows I need more denim. I have heard a lot of good things about the denim brand Agold and I was just curious. I wanted to see what all the fuss was about. Um, I'm always happy to invest in parts of my closet that I get a lot aware of and uh, honestly I was just looking for the perfect pair of straight leg baggy ripped jeans like usually ripped jeans are always kind of like skinny fit or boyfriend fit and I wanted something that was high-waisted but still had like a loose straight leg with like big old rips in it and these are the one the sizing on these is very very generous I would go down like 
even two sizes to be honest I usually wear 29 in jeans and um, I think I'm gonna have to return them and get like a 27 or something not usually a print gal but I saw it on the model and I kind of got sucked in I'm not gonna lie but I have no regrets I wore it on the weekend and it was super comfy very thin fabric but actually perfect for New York summers also with the color of it like the brown and the other colors running through I just kind of pictured like a lot of different ways to style this 40s collared big covered button shirt I thought it was pretty cute to tuck in. It's getting quite warm, so I'm gonna have to start wearing stuff like this soon before it gets too warm for long sleeves. And I also got this red snakeskin belt from Mango because I wanted to test out some dupes for the vintage ones that um, I've been trying. And I thought the red was just like a nice pop of color. I love red and blue looks against my skin tones. Oh no, the light's kind of going on me. Anyway, the work must continue to get my summer box out. Oh which looks a little like this. This is what I like to call my seasonal rollover wardrobe, which is basically just everything I really love that I'm obviously not gonna wear during the autumn winter. It's also just a really easy place to keep all my summer and holiday clothes for when I'm actually going on trips throughout the year. I can just pull out this one bin and I don't have to go sifting through my wardrobe too much. days later with the final result. I thought that was only fair that I actually showed you how it all turned out. I was not able to clearly show you where we ended up due to the loss of light, but here we are. Up my closet, my away cases as per usual. Also standing at this height on the bed, I'm noticing that I feel like I'm not utilizing this space at the top enough, but I don't quite think we had enough room to add another shelf. I might try and squeeze one in anyway, but this is what the midsection of the wardrobe looks like and actually through the viewfinder it's a lot more satisfying than I thought it would be there's actually quite a lot of space at the end all of those hangers are free but I've kind of switched out everything I want to wear and um, some transitional warm pieces just in case then it kind of gets progressively more organized as we get to the bottoms I visually need to see like every single little piece to remind myself that I own something I think most people are like that so I've tried not to put too much in the back there's like a couple of sweaters and some loungewear but everything I intend to wear I did not put in the back specifically I mean, this kind of stuff is where a chest of drawers would actually come in handy. And okay, here's an unpopular opinion for you guys that I have about chest of drawers. I actually kind of find them kind of ugly. Like unless you're paying for like a really nicely designed one or like a mid-century modern one. Generally, like the ones that you just get at everyday furniture stores, like they're quite, they're quite hideous and they take up a lot of space and they just harbor more clutter so i actually like not owning them but they do come in handy for like stuff like this i mean i could get bins for all of this stuff but like i said i like to actually see every single piece so if you've got any solutions uh let me know but all of my string toppy bits here any crop tops just anything that's like really really light then i've got all of my t-shirts here kind of color coordinated a bit i've got a million white t-shirts of course i've got some heavier like long not heavier but like really thin knits like some long sleeves just for like chillier days or like if i'm going to the cinema my shorts on hand here from light to dark and then i've got like three sweaters again just in case i'm traveling or i'm just wanting to be cozy like this is a black hoodie that's kind of where it's at i've got all of my jeans and trousers organized from light to dark and then um kind of a mix of my most worn shoes 
alongside shoes that I actually want to wear but I'm like forgetting to wear like these gorgeous stout sandals I really want to wear so that's like at the forefront because I really want to style those old little court shoes from Mango always come in handy my Chanel sandals uh, for warm days are really comfortable to walk around in and obviously a trainers gym shoes then in this side of my closet I was actually this is the thing like part of me wants to put stuff in like storage it's a lot of cool storage options in New York that you can just like rent a bin and they'll hold your stuff and they'll deliver it right to your door when you want it but again it's just kind of like a way for me to forget about what I have um so at the moment it's all of my like winter stuff like my thick jackets any long dresses that I have that kind of didn't fit anywhere else that needed more like length um, but ideally I would love to just clear this out and have it as outfits that I want to wear for the upcoming week I don't have to think about it I can plan them in advance and not be staring into my wardrobe for an hour like I do a lot I had a good look through my accessories put all my most worn bags to the front some accessories and scarves that I want to like easily pull out during this week everything else honestly hasn't been touched too much these are like my gym and underwear drawers which I haven't tackled yet I had not Marie kondo them but I will get around to those eventually. I feel 90 million times better since doing that. If anyone is feeling like me at the start of this video, just declutter. I highly recommend. This is the way I'm going on about it. You'd swear spring cleaning was like this revolutionary thing that no one's ever done before. I hope you don't mind that this is a little different to the huge. I do kind of want to do more casual videos like this on my channel. I'll also have my link to my outfit in this video in the description as well so do give those links a check out if you liked that outfit i'll be putting my head down and making lots of fun content for you guys so be sure to subscribe hit that bloody bell button <laughs> before you go uh, and i'll see you guys in the next one